So this is a fairly common problem. Um, it's on Windows XP, and what happens is a portion of the registry gets corrupted, or you know the file gets moved, renamed, deleted, corruption on the hard drive, a virus. I mean, there's lots of different causes, but pretty much the fix is the same for all of them. Um, and the error is Windows cannot start because the following file is missing or corrupt. Windows System 32 Config System. And uh, you know you can see the rest of the error message. But the easiest way to fix this is um, make yourself a BART PE CD. So you can boot to CD and view your hard drive. If you can't do that, um, there's a couple other ones. I think Hirons. No, Hirons won't do it. Um, pretty much BART or um, you can pull the hard drive um, you can probably also do it if you use the Linux live CD um, that may be the easiest because you can just go out and download it um, in fact I've got a Ubuntu CD right here but I'm going to use BART PE um, uh, and I have two reasons for that um, but I'll show you once we boot into BART Alright, so we've got BART booted up, and normally there's two reasons for, uh, I mean, anything can cause the two reasons, but uh, what we've got normally is either hard drive corruption or the registry files themselves are corrupted, so, and that can be caused from a number of things, you know, you can have a dying hard drive, you could have a virus, Windows update fails, and screws up the registry, I mean, anything can cause these problems, but we need to first get Windows booted up, then we can further diagnose what caused them. Uh, so the first thing I will do is we'll open up a command prompt, and we're going to run check disk. So if we do chkdsk space slash f space c colon, and that will run a check on C drive. Now when you boot BART up, you probably want to go ahead and open up Windows Explorer just to verify that it did connect the C drive. And this is the, you know, the C drive for the uh, for this computer. So we'll run this command. It'll run check disk. I've already done this on this computer, and it'll run through. And when it gets done, then reboot and see if Windows will boot. It won't go into go back into BART PE, and then we'll go. This is step two. So this probably means that the problem with this computer is corrupt registry files. So, if system restore has been turned on, which it is by default, it stores its files in system volume information. Then there's this restore folder. The name may vary slightly, um, but it should have the word restore in it. And then you have these uh, restore folders. And I just normally sort them by date and I go get the recent one. Uh, if for some reason that doesn't work, then I'll go older. But um, you definitely don't want to go too old because any software that you've installed, um, you know, the registry information may not be there if it was the restore point was before you installed the software. So, here's one from 1224, which this machine has been down for a while, so we'll go ahead and select that one. And then there's a snapshot folder. Inside of that, we have these backups of the registry. And the ones we need are security, software, system, and default. We really don't have to copy all these other ones, so if we just take these four, copy them. Then we can go to Windows System 32 Config and we can paste them in this folder. Now we have to rename them, but first we need to rename the old ones. So we have default up here which we need to rename. I just normally do default.old so that's the old files then we have security so if we rename to security.old software 
in system. I had already done system. Um, camera fell off and stopped recording, so we've already done system. Now, what you can do now is rename these. So this one should just be called system. This one should just be called default. This one, security. Oops. And this one, software. So now we have our system, default, security, and software, and we've renamed the old ones to system, old, software, old, security, old, and default, old. So we can close this and we can reboot. I had already recorded this video when I had got started on this in the beginning, and it, the camera fell and it didn't save it. So, we've still got a problem. Now what we can do now is go back into BART and we'll choose an earlier restore date. So BART is coming back up. Go back into Windows Explorer. Basically we're just going to select an earlier date on the uh, restore point restore point folder so we go back to C drive system volume information, restore, and we've got these folders, so we can go back to details, and we can, let's see, we did the 24th, there's a 23rd here, I'm going to go all the way back, let's see, um, I guess I will select the 23rd. So then we go into snapshot folder and we go by details and we've got system software oh the other one didn't have the SAM folder which is one that we need to take so that may have caused a problem so SIF, system software security SAM and default and we just take all those and we copy them. And we will go in here to Windows. System 32. Config. Here we are, we'll go back to details. So, we can go ahead and paste these again. And because these didn't work, we, we had system, let's see, we had default. So I'm going to delete default. Now if you're doing this the first time, you want to rename it, but the ones I'm deleting are from the previous restore point. Now SAM, we didn't do that one last time, so we'll do SAM.old, so we'll rename that one. But security, see I've already got a security.old, and if you look, the uh, the bytes were wrong. Um, security.old was 256 KB, then the security one we moved over is 50 KB, so this probably wasn't a good restore point. So we'll delete security, then we've got software dot, or wait, here we go, security dot old, and where is, oh wait, now software, software dot old, they're close on the byte count, so that's good, but this one didn't work, so we'll delete software, 
and then we've got system, so we'll get rid of the system. So now we've got our next one. So we've got it all, all the uh, files cleared out, so we can go ahead and rename these. Software. System. Default. SAM. And security. So now we'll close out and we'll reboot again. Pop the CD out. It's looking good. So the first restore point I selected um, must not have been a good restore point or you know there was some problem with it and it could have been a restore point after the uh, whatever problem you know was caused in the registry happened. So now what I will go ahead and do, um, I will uh, scan this computer for viruses so if you had this problem you can get your machine up but you need to I mean, sometimes it can be a Windows update or something that corrupts, but go ahead and uh, if the, the check disk fix the problem, you probably want to back up your data because your hard drive could be dying. Um, a lot of times, you know, if the machine was even just shut off incorrectly, it can cause a corruption on the hard drive, but, um, you know, the hard drive could be dying. Make sure smart is enabled in the BIOS so that if it um, sees uh, problems on the BIOS and you know on the hard drive it will alert you. Um, a good tool for checking smart data is a uh, speed fan which you can um, do a hard drive test and it'll compare all the smart data on the hard drive to um, you know like an average of hard drives. So anyway um, you know, if, it, if the registry repair fixed computer, probably want to go ahead and scan for viruses. Uh, Malwarebytes, Hitman Pro, um, those are two good ones that you can run. Uh, and then whatever antivirus program you run, go ahead and run a scan with that. Probably run CCleaner, clean up uh, the registry, and temp files, just kind of a basic cleanup, and um, should be good to go.